The latest on the purported U.S. intelligence leaks. The White House and National Security Council spokesman said the U.S. is taking the issue very seriously, while collecting information is only about protecting national security. Our Shin Sebyeok has the details. As the Pentagon document leak probe heats up, the U.S. has stated that collecting information is necessary to protect national security and that it will continue to do that to go forward. This is according to White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby speaking to Fox News during President Biden's trip to Northern Ireland on Wednesday. Kirby also emphasized that the U.S. is treating the leaks very seriously as it represents a breach in Washington's ability to protect sensitive information. He also noted that the U.S. is actively engaging with its allies and partners to provide them with more information about the issue. The leaked classified Pentagon documents suggested that the U.S. most likely spied on South Korea as it included sensitive conversations between top South Korean security officials. But South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin on Wednesday dismissed the content of the documents, saying much of it is fabricated. Later the same day, during a National Assembly Foreign Affairs Committee session, he added that the U.S. had expressed its willingness to fully cooperate with South Korea, saying the two allies are taking the issue seriously. Park also said that the government would take appropriate measures if needed. And nothing is off the table for discussion. The two countries have strong trust. Depending on the outcome, appropriate measures will be taken. He also said the government is devising ways to reinforce security at the presidential office building. President Yoon relocated the office from the formal presidential complex at Cheongwadae to a location in central Seoul at the beginning of his tenure. Some watchers have criticized the move, saying it has made the office more vulnerable to spying attempts. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.